I analyzed over a thousand of the most energy efficient window air conditioners on the market to find the most efficient unit. Staying cool uses a lot of energy, around 409 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year in the US alone. Window air conditioners account for around 8.2% of the average electric bill. But there's a lot of wasted energy and as a result, wasted money on unnecessarily high bills. One simple way to reduce wastage is to use the most efficient window AC, but there are other opportunities too. So in this video, based on results from this unbiased study, you'll find the most energy efficient window air conditioner overall, the most efficient units by room size, plus you'll get nine quick fire tips that'll help you stop wasting electricity and money while keeping cool. So the most energy efficient window air conditioner overall is this GE profile unit. It has the highest combined energy efficiency ratio on the market coming in at 15.7. Pause the video here if you'd like more information on CEUR. This high result means that this unit is 41% more efficient than the Department of Energy's minimum efficiency for models of similar cooling capacity and is 31.3% more efficient than the average Energy Star certified window air conditioner. Overall, Energy Star certified window air conditioner CEUR results range from 9.1 to 15.7 and this unit takes the top spot. I won't go into the features or anything like that because this isn't a product review video. I'm just covering the insights from the study. But I will highlight some key power specs. Its energy consumption is estimated to be 482.5 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. That's 36.97% less than average, which is 765.47 kilowatt hours. It costs just over $72.30 per year to run, assuming you pay 15 cents per kilowatt hour like me. 114.82 is the average running cost for all window ACs. Its listed wattage is 830 watts. Its rated cooling amperage is listed at 11 amps. The startup amp draw is around 2 to 3 times the running amps, according to the manufacturer's customer support team. And using the listed wattage to work out the high end of the continuous draw, while it will be an overestimation and oversimplification, we're looking at 7.2 amps on a 115 volt supply. Its cooling capacity comes in at 10,100 BTU, so it caters to rooms up to 450 square feet. And it's obviously Energy Star certified, but it also achieved the coveted most efficient label. I'll link to this unit below if you want to see the price, features, and other specs, like noise level for example. This unit is also a standard performer here too. It took third place in the list of quietest window ACs. So this unit is the most efficient overall, but it may not be the most efficient for you. That's because it might be over or undersized for your needs. Incorrectly sized ACs are less effective and waste energy. I list the most efficient window ACs by room size, but first you should know the basic way to size an AC. So here are three simple steps to help you find the most energy efficient window air conditioner for you. Step one is to identify how big the cooling area is in square feet. Simply measure the length and width of your room and then multiply them together. Step two is to find the required cooling capacity in BTU for that area. You can simply use a window AC room size chart like this one. There are adjustments to be made too. For example, if the room gets a lot of sun, then increase the BTU by 10%. Pause the video here for more suggested adjustments. And then step three is to find the appropriately sized window AC with the highest CEUR. Finding this can take some time if it wasn't already done for you. Here are the most efficient window air conditioners by room size based on over a thousand of the most efficient units on the market. I've included the CEUR results, wattage, annual power consumption and running cost estimates too. I won't go through each of these, but I'll add links below to the relevant units. Again, this isn't a product review, this is simply by the numbers. There were a couple of occasions where there was a tie for top spot. In these cases, I used the annual consumption or listed wattage as a tiebreaker. And just a couple of other points on the data. The annual running cost estimates assume a rate of 15 cents per kilowatt hour, which is common in the US. Some sources say it's the average, but others say 13 cents is average. In general, power consumption and running costs increase along with cooling capacity and recommended room size. However, the CEUR results are more mixed. There isn't a linear increase or decrease. There's a correlation between competition in cooling ranges and the CEUR results. Typically, the lower the competition, the lower the CEUR. For example, few ACs cater to large 1200 square foot rooms, which as a size category has a max CEUR of 10.3. This is below the overall average. But more common room sizes typically have more options, which correlates with higher CEUR ratings. And there are other factors to help with efficiency too, particularly automation features. But aside from the units themselves, there's a lot you can do to help maximize efficiency. Here are nine quick fire tips to help you stop wasting electricity and money. 1. Ensure your room is sealed as best you can to prevent cool air from escaping. 2. Consider closing the blinds or shades to block out direct sunlight during the hottest parts of the day. 3. Don't overcool. Use the highest comfortable temperature setting. 4. 
use the eco mode when you can. 5. Use the ceiling fan to help move cool air throughout the room more efficiently. This means that you could potentially increase your unit's temperature setting without noticing a change. Ceiling fans move air more efficiently per watt than AC fans. This can essentially increase your overall cooling efficiency. 6. Don't create additional heat if possible. For example, hang clothes out to dry instead of using a dryer, or use a dishwasher at night when the temperatures have dropped. 7. Make sure there are no airflow obstructions around the unit, from furniture for example. 8. Check the vents and fins are clear. And 9. Consider maintenance, cleaning and service requirements like replacing filters to ensure the unit continues running efficiently. A qualified technician may be needed for this. These tips will help keep your consumption of running costs low. But what if you want to keep the noise levels low? Air conditioners are notorious for being noisy. They can disrupt sleep, concentration and any chance of relaxing. If you want to stay cool, in peace, you don't want to miss this video where I reveal the noise level results from the study and I go one step further. I include wall and portable air conditioners too. So, to see window AC noise levels face off against wall and portable units, and to see which unit is the quietest overall, watch this video next. You can actually stay cool, in peace, so don't miss it.